everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to talk about PS Vita prices and update you guys on the value and go through one of my favorite websites and very reliable is eBay. And I recommend anyone who's looking for a PS Vita to go on eBay and buy one because you'll always have this protection, this buyer protection. Uh, money back guarantee from eBay. So even if the seller says you cannot return the item, you can open a case and still return it if the item was not as described and it was received as defective. And in this video, I want to give tips and tricks and help to those who are looking for a PS Vita who are looking to invest in one and not trying to break the bank. I get a lot of questions on this and saying, where should I buy my Vita? Is this a good price? Should I buy it? So on and so forth. So this video is for those who are looking to save some money and wanting to buy a PS Vita. And there's gonna be a lot of different marketplaces. You have Amazon, you have Facebook, you have Mercari, you have Craigslist, uh, OfferUp, you have LetGo. There's all these different marketplaces, but I always go back to eBay because eBay, you can buy from all over around the world. Uh, you can pick up a lot of these PS Vitas for very cheap from Japan, Tokyo, directly from Japan for less than 150 bucks, which is usually the average price for a PS Vita nowadays. I've been looking at the prices here a little bit and they're very reasonable and a lot of them are coming out of Japan. And the one that I purchased, and I'll have a unboxing video on that in the description down below, I bought it from Japan and I didn't have any issues with the seller. It did take a couple weeks to arrive. I know that I'm an eBay seller. That's what I do for a living. Right now, any shipments going to Australia are a guarantee a dud. They're no longer accepting shipments from the USPS to Australia along with shipments to Mexico. So I've been getting a lot of returns through my store uh, with that problem. So you have to double check and make sure that the sellers are able to ship to your location. So let's go ahead and take a look at these prices. And like I said, this is going to be a helpful tips and tricks kind of type of video for those who are looking to buy one at a very good price. And when it comes to the PS Vita, you're going to have two different styles, actually three, but we're not going to talk about the third one, which is a PS Vita TV. I'll mention it at the end of this video, but I wouldn't recommend buying one at the moment. So we're just going to focus on the 1000 and 2000, but we will briefly touch on the PS Vita TV at the end of this video. So the PS Vita 1000 and 2000. Now, there's two questions that you're going to have to ask yourself and answer them before you go ahead and start looking. Uh, the first one is which PS Vita are you looking for? Are you looking for the fat version or the slim version? The 1000 or the 2000? The 1000 with the OLED display or the 2000 with the LCD display, but it does have a micro USB connection, which makes it a lot easier to acquire those cables. The proprietary cable for the PS Vita 1000, they're not that expensive, but it does get annoying if it does break you're gonna to have to go and buy another one because you know it's proprietary that cable only works for that console and nothing else so that's the only thing that's kind of annoying about the 1000 which is not that bad actually because the cables don't go for more than like 10 15 bucks on amazon and on ebay and the second question is which color are you looking for that's gonna really Play a huge factor in these for example the white one is going to be a little bit more expensive than the black one the black one obviously is more common and it's a lot less cheaper and there's just a whole bunch of those uh, there's just more of those out there and then you have limited edition ones and i wouldn't recommend anybody getting a limited edition one unless you have the money and you're interested in looking uh, for one like that so let's go and search for ps vita 1000 real quick and I recorded this video like three times because I keep forgetting to zoom in because I keep forgetting that I'm recording on OBS and you guys cannot see the prices and the description and details in this little window that I got going on on Streamlabs OBS. So 
your best bet with the PS Vita 1000 is looking for those that are coming from Japan. And those prices are very good. I would hit the buy it now option at the top just to filter out and get rid of all those auctions. Those auctions do get very annoying. And I want to pay more than 150 for a used PS Vita black version. You can get one for a lot less. And we're just going to focus on a black one here. So we got $124 for a crystal black in excellent condition. So let's take a look at this one. This is not too bad of a price. Now the first thing I want to look at is where is this coming from? This is coming from Tokyo, Japan. Usually these low prices are going to be coming from Japan. And he has one more. He sold 59. If you click on this sold, you can see how many he sold within the month. So he sold three at a higher price and it he's got it ten dollars less so he's i guess he reduced the price and he's trying to get rid of them and he sold a bunch of them in november very nice and you want to look at their feedback you want to make sure that they do uh, a good job with their transactions if you see a 98 percent go ahead and check out their feedback this will bring up their feedback profile i open this in a new page and you'll see the negative reviews, neutral reviews, and their positive reviews. You always want to go see what the negatives are and see what the, the problems were. So he had one in the past month. The memory card does now does not work and cannot be formatted. My PS Vita 2000 will not recognize the memory card. And when you try to format it, so it looks like he was selling a PS Vita 16 gigabyte memory card. So this is this doesn't have nothing to do with the console. Now that we got that out of the way, we can look at the positive feedbacks. And you want to look at this gray text at the bottom. So these are PS Vita 2000s. So here's a positive. I knew there were risks buying a used PS Vita from Japan. When I received the item, it was as described, but I discovered that the right analog stick didn't function. I communicated with the seller, worked out a partial refund, and decided to go the self-repair route. So the, there are a little bit of risks when pre buying a used one. And if you do buy a used one, just make sure you have a reputable seller because this guy had a problem and he got a partial refund. So that's nice to see that the seller is willing to work with you if a problem were to occur during shipping when you received it. Because things... You know, things happen during shipping, so you can't really control that kind of stuff. And you just have to just stay positive and, and just pray that your PS Vita comes into one piece. Here's another good price at 114 This is a really good price. The last one, good. He has 98.6%. So here's an example of a low kind. Of, that to me is kind of low. But I purchased from this guy before, so he's 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 a good seller. Let's take a look at his items for sale. He has really good prices for some of these consoles. Like, look, you can get one in the box pre-owned for $150. So, see, that's the price I would not pay more for a PS Vita uh, 1000. He probably has a good price on the... Ooh, he has a blue one for $152. Then he has a $2000 for a $176. Not bad. This seller is very, very good. I'll have a link to his store in the description down below. He has over 7,000 results. Go ahead and check him out. He does a wonderful job. He had four negative feedbacks. Let's take a look at what happened. It took almost two weeks to get a tracking number and seller said I would get the tracking number within one to 10 days. When I bought my Vita from him, it took about five days to get tracking. And then after that, it took another couple weeks for mine to receive. And that was before COVID. So now with the whole pandemic happening, it can be a lot more, much more time to receive it. Who knows? Just make sure to communicate with that seller. And please, people, be patient with these sellers. I'm a seller on eBay, and I get a lot of messages saying, where's my package and, and stuff like that. So I understand as a seller and I understand as a, as a buyer that both parties really have to respond and be patient with one another. This guy's in Japan. He's not going to respond within the first few minutes of you sending a message. So you have to be patient on receiving a response within 24 hours. 
Now, if it takes more than like three days, then there's a problem. You might want to send another email. But usually these guys are on top of it, especially if they're, uh, you know, they got a lot of feedback like this and they're selling over 7,000 items in their store. That's a really good sign. So yeah, 150 for one in the box. Not bad. I wouldn't go this route. That's pretty good for a red one. And this is an ice silver. See, this guy is a, is a little expensive. This guy is selling his consoles for 210. And he's here in Hawaii. A little further than usual. But I've seen him sell a lot of consoles. Uh, let's take a look at what he's got for sale. He's 224 of them. This is a good price for this limited limited edition one. Not bad. For an extra 50 bucks, you can get one with a really cool design on the back. But if you're just getting into the homebrew scene, you're getting into the PS Vita scene for the first time, I wouldn't recommend getting a limited edition. Uh, because you might not like the scene. You might not like the console. You might not like the games or the the work that you have to put in to get this all set up. Who knows? I don't know. But I wouldn't invest in one just yet. But if you're into that kind of stuff, go, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you, but I'm just saying for those who are looking to save money and getting into it for the very first time. Look at this. We have a 2000 pink for 230 that's pretty expensive wow he has the gundam limited edition for 220 pre-owned he sold seven of them let's get out of here and go back to our original results and if we want to buy a white one it's going to be a little bit more we have 169 we have 200 the black ones are more common this one's not bad but this doesn't come with the box right See, this one's really good. Look at that. One, 137 for a box console. White one. Lucky A Trading. I've seen this guy before. He sold over 247 and a 96.2%. That's not so good. He's from Tokyo, Japan. Usually the description, i not too... I don't really go into the description. I usually take a look at the pictures. And then I look at their feedback. The pictures is a, a good way to understand what you're going to be receiving. You know. And usually the descriptions are going to be the same old, same old. Like this one is just use product image for illustration purposes only. All products are purchased in Japan. Wow, look at this PSP 1000. Oof, oof. 100 bucks. Alright, we'll save that video for another time <laughs> we'll save psps for another video i'm sorry if i sound a little different i'm losing my voice here's lucky trading for 115 bucks for the console only and you probably won't receive a charger but if you go like this actually let me do 1000 because that's a more you got to be more specific because it's a proprietary cable. So you can get one for 10 bucks. You'll save a lot more money. You know, you can buy these both at the same time. They'll probably, you'll receive them in the same week and you're all set. You can save a lot of money if you don't buy, if you don't buy into those bundles that, you know, you get your SD card and stuff like that. Here's a, here's a good example. So Hawaii over here. Let's take a look at Hawaii. Here's a really good example. So Hawaii, two hundred dollars. Okay. So two hundred bucks, you get the console and the charger. Fat OLED. That to me is just too expensive, man. That's way too much. Let's go micro SD card. Five. 120 let's go 128 128 you can get one for 10 bucks and you always want to go with either sandisk or samsung don't go with any other brand i wouldn't do any other like this crap don't ever 
try to buy. I'm going to talk about that in another video too. But you see, you can buy one for, let's take a look here, 128 You can buy one for 20 bucks. That's kind of expensive, actually. Let's check out Amazon. Amazon, 128 gigabyte micro SD card. Don't buy Gigastone. Samsung Evo, $17. Look at that. $17 on freaking Amazon. That's that's a wonderful price. Look at that. SanDisk, 18 bucks. No, oh, this is 17, 18 bucks. And then you can buy the uh Vita SD card. The Vita SD Vita adapter. Vita adapters go from no more than seven bucks. Right? And there you go. So that was just the first page. That was just the first batch of PS Vitas that I saw. And there's only 679 results in Buy It Now for PS Vita 1000s. That's not a whole lot of them. There's not a lot of them out there. Now let's go into the PS Vita 2000 and take a look at those prices. I'm not sure if these are going to be a lot more expensive. But it is second gen. They do use the micro S micro USB cable. And so far they are a little bit more. Let's go to buy it now. <clears throat> Let's see, pre-owned Sony PS. We got one here for 172. That's kind of expensive. From Japan, we have one fifty-four with fifteen dollars shipping. Let's check out this one here in Japan. The lowest price here is one seventeen. Let's go with just a regular black. Include a charger. So it looks like he's out of stock of not included, because you could have saved a lot more. Included one twenty. The seller has 56 feedback. He's a little guy, but he has 100% feedback, and he's from Japan. Not bad, not bad. Let's go in Glacier White. The Glacier White's really nice. Really, really nice. But always make sure to look at the pictures for quality, obviously. They're going to be using it most of the time if they have quantities. They're going to be using that one picture to illustrate the rest of them but the other ones might have scratches that you don't see on this original picture so just be on the lookout for that and the PS Vita 2000 their colorways are much more crazier there's a lot more of them so you'll see a lot more of that and the prices are not too bad if you want a red one you can get a red one for 150 or you can get a black Vita 1000 for 150 right? With the box. And he's saying that it's rare. <laughs> right, let's see how many there are with the Buy It Now on eBay. So there's 1,700 of them. There's a lot more than the PS Vita 1000s. And I believe one day that the 1000s are going to get more rare as time goes on because... There's just less of them out there. In the the 2000s, there's just so much, so many of them, so many different colorways, so many styles of uh, when of limited edition ones too. Here's a lime green one from 122. This probably doesn't have a charger, and this is Lucky Eight Trading, the same seller that we've been seeing over and over again. And he has over 800 items selling PS Vitas for a living. Very good. So you can save a lot of money. And you can use just a regular micro USB charger to charge this guy. And to transfer your data files from your PC to your console. So that really helps too. Brand new one's going to be running close to $300. Not bad. Here's one for $179 complete in the box. Wow, $125 sold. That's crazy. Here's a pink one, light pink white 150. Not bad, but it doesn't include a charger, so this you're you're paying more for the 
the color than anything else. Now to end the video, we're going to be talking about PS Vita TVs. The TVs are too expensive for me. I, I think they're way too much. They're almost the same price as they're much more than a PS Vita that has the full blown screen and I can go to the coffee shop and play. I can go to work, take it, play it in the break room and, and break out, go into the break room and break out my PS Vita and start playing. The PS TV, you got to set it up on a TV, monitor, whatever. I would think, I would think, I would assume these would be a lot cheaper, at least $100, $80, 50 bucks. But no, they're much more. I don't understand why these are much more expensive. The price on these are absolutely stupid. And I don't agree with buying one at this price. I don't care how many there are out there. You can never beat a console that you can just take on the go. You can never beat that. The TV is somewhat kind of... I can see how it's convenient where you could just set it up on your TV and that's it. But let's be real, guys. The, T the PS Vita was made to be handheld console. <laughs> and that's why I don't own a TV because they're too expensive. And I would love to own a TV so I can hook it up to my Elgato and make much more crispier, steezy looking videos for you guys. But it's just, I, I can't even look at the white one. I'm going blind. I'm losing money looking at that. Look at that. What is that? What is that? $300? You're out of your freaking mind. I, you know what I would buy? I would buy the limited edition. If I had $300, which, which, which Vita would I buy? Which Vita would I, oh man, they, they probably don't have any more of those. <laughs> but I was going to say the PS Vita Gundam limited edition, brand new in the box for $300. I'd rather get that than the PS Vita brand new in, uh, TV, brand new in the box. This is just a ridiculous price. I know they're rare, but you know, people, just because something is rare doesn't mean that it's it has to be at a stupid price, okay? No. I, I disagree. I do agree with the PSP Go white being expensive because, you know, it's a PSP Go. It has the whole full-blown screen and everything. But if TV for me is just, nah, I don't, I don't like the TV at all because of that price. <laughs> because of that stupid price, I don't own one. And I refuse to talk about it on the channel. I refuse to uh, own one at that price. But every all the tutorials that I do will work for this console. So it's not like I'm not showing it love, but I just don't I don't really discuss it. I don't really do a tutorials on those videos because it's basically the same thing that you're doing. You know, it's it's almost the same. But the prices are too much. I, I can't handle the price, so we're done. Now to recap and review. With the PS Vitas, make sure to not pay over $200. You shouldn't have to pay more than $150 for a nice, decent console. You can buy one for less than $130 almost in a very good condition from Japan. And you also have to consider in buying um, them without a bundle. The less stuff that's included, the less it's going to be. We've seen that. The more stuff that's added, you're obviously going to be paying a lot more for the stuff that's included or for the colorway. And you have to consider which one are you going to pick, the 1000 or 2000 I personally would recommend you guys to go for the 1000 because those are going to be, they're going to be gone very soon. They're going to be gone within the next 5, 10 years. There's going to be no more of those because there's, they're, they're less and less every single year. So make sure to jump on that before the prices go really stupid and jump on the 2000 before those prices get even more stupider. Uh, right now, there's a whole bunch of them, so the prices are, are pretty stable, pretty good. Don't get a PS Vita, Vita TV. Don't do it. Just save yourself the money. <laughs> Don't do it. Because you can hook up your PS Vita console to your uh, PC, no problem. And I have proven that in a video. Also, make sure that the seller that you're looking at has reputable feedback. They ship on time. They're willing to work with you 
and make sure they have the 30 day free returns. If you see one that has no returns, please avoid that. You might be looking at a broken console. So don't ever look at a, at a listing that says no returns because that's going to be a headache, a nightmare. Don't do it. Make sure you, you see a nice seller that has a bunch of them in their store, has good feedback and that the console is at a very good price. So just make sure that you're not doing it, overdoing it with that. So that is it. I hope this was somewhat of help for some of you who are getting into the homebrew scene and getting, wanting to get into the PS Vita scene. Uh, there you go. Uh, and hopefully we'll make another video and update you guys on prices and things like that and how the marketplace is within the next few months. I'm hoping to do it again mid-year. So we'll do one at the beginning of the year, mid-year, and at the end of the year. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to also be talking about other handheld consoles like the PSP. We're going to be looking at the 2DS XL, which the prices have gone up like crazy. So that's going to be my next video. Uh, we're going to be looking at switches. We're going to be looking at all sorts of different things and try to help you guys out and give you tips and tricks on how to purchase this stuff at a reasonable price and not get screwed over. And that way every dollar that you have is going to be stretched out and used up in a very good way and that way you're saving a lot more so thank you guys i really appreciate you watching i apologize for the way i sound i lost my voice here i've been streaming a lot and i recorded this video like four times because i keep screwing it up i keep uh forgetting to zoom into the into the details of the listings on ebay so I apologize. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.